afternoon from Penang Airport. We tried to take a bus here because it was going to be very cheap. However, we totally missed it. And since they only come every 30 minutes, we decided getting yet another grab, which in comparison to what a taxi would be back home was also very cheap, but less cheap than the bus. So here we are. Just need to uh, head through security and then we can hopefully enjoy another lounge. coming to you from the future. We didn't get to do our actual lounge review in the lounge because it was pretty small and there was staff and other guests surrounding us so we just didn't feel like it was right to disturb them. We're now at our hotel in Langkawi and we have a moment to sit down and go over what we thought. We start off as ever with food. The quality of the food was pretty darn good. I don't think there was anything in there that we didn't enjoy. Mm -hmm. However, the real limiting factor was how little of a selection there actually was. There was maybe one meat dish, one non-meat dish, one fruit option. Overall, it was just a bit too thin on the ground. So based on that, then we're giving this one a six. As for drinks, I think that this was the worst we've encountered. Their soda fountain machine was out of order. There was no juice available. There were no bottles of water. It was a really cute jug of water where you could use the tap on it to pour it out yourself. But that was all that was available. They had tea and coffee. And as for alcohol, there was one beer. There was no wine whatsoever. There were no liquors. So. With that, we're giving it a four. On the cleanliness front, this was pretty much spotless. I don't think you could really find any true fault in it. And it was just a very nice experience. I'm not sure what would make it considered to be a 10, unless it was literally the most attentive staff to clean up after you. But given that that wasn't quite it, then we're gonna give this a nine. In terms of comfort, they had a few different seating setups. They had high top tables with bar stools. They had some dining tables with chairs around it, dining tables with benches, as well as what we spent most of our time on, which was kind of like lazy boy type chairs, but just not recliners. And they were all very comfortable. I think that the only thing that could have made it more comfortable is had they had an actual recliner or maybe something a little bit more plush, but of course we're being picky. So we did rate this well at an eight out of 10. Finally, for amenities, this was pretty standard. There was good Wi-Fi, which we were very happy about, and charging ports, some Airbnb kind of double seat, which was also very welcome. However, there wasn't really anything beyond that. There was no showers or anything like that. Thankfully, at least there were toilets in the lounge, so that was nice. But really, no kind of other bells or whistles or anything like that. So we're going to give this one a six. And the grand total for this lounge was 33 out of 50, which does put it as our third lowest rated lounge. However, based on score, it's kind of in that middle tier of lounges. And as you have pointed out to me, 
Considering the fact that this was a domestic terminal lounge, I really don't think you could ask for much more. No, it definitely did the trick for what we needed at the time. So if you do happen to be in Penang Airport, traveling within Malaysia, then it's worth a stop. Langkawi. It's our first morning here and we are off in search of some breakfast, but more importantly, coffee. why you haven't heard from us since yesterday morning. Well, as you can hear, it is absolutely ticking it down outside and it basically has been doing that the last 24 hours. Yeah, and there doesn't seem to be an end in sight. No, unfortunately, while we would love for there to be extra things to do, the only things available that are indoors are a zoo, which we're kind of against, same with an aquarium, a mall. And We're not going to be spending any money. And that's kind of it. We have one particular thing that we really want to do, which we will probably do come hell or high water tomorrow. I think the rain is supposed to lessen tomorrow, crossing fingers, hopefully. Because this for us, I think, is a non-negotiable item of being here in Langkawi. 100%. But but now, until the weather holds out, then there's not really a massive amount for us to do. But we are going to do what we can to make sure that we get some good food here. So we're going to head out for breakfast just now. We are trying nasi lemak for the first time. And that is rice made in coconut milk, spicy sambal sauce, roasted peanuts, dried anchovies, cucumber, chicken sausage, a fried egg on top. This obviously has a lot of ingredients on it, so I'm gonna try and see if we can get like a mouthful as many of them as possible. Bear with me, talk amongst yourselves. That one blends together really, really nicely. We got the spice here, it's on the sambal. The rice is nice and rich because of the coconut. And then you got a bit of crunch and a bit of salt coming from the peanuts and the anchovies. Honestly, it's just a really, really well constructed dish. It's lovely. It stopped raining long enough so that we were able to walk back to our hotel after breakfast and we have decided that we are going to go and do should i tell them what it is go ahead we're gonna go to the cable car and sky bridge here on langkawi which is i think like the number one tourist attraction here and hope that the weather holds out even if not it should still be a great time so let's go after half an hour in a grab we then came here to then find out it's closed due to maintenance. What an absolute waste of time. I think we're both feeling really deflated and annoyed because let's be honest, the weather is not the best. It has started raining again and we really wanted to actually get outside and explore Langkawi. And 
the bridge was closed because of strong winds and the cable car is under me. We had a 21 ring it grab ride here. And now I assume it's gonna be the same amount to get back to our hotel all for nothing. So that's gonna be like 12 Canadian dollars wasted. Like we literally arrived here and for what? Yeah, there's a few facilities open, but everything is inordinately expensive and not what we really want to be doing with our day anyway. Well, facilities as in there's like some coffee shops and restaurants around here, but yeah. like we just ate breakfast, so. Exactly, so it's all just, again, $12 wasted and an hour of our day just spent in a cab. And we're not getting to see what we wanted to see. So all around, just not a good time. Sorry for the negativity, but sometimes this is reality. Stuff just doesn't always pan out how you want to due to circumstances beyond your control. It sucks. It's feeling raw because we've just realized what's going on, but we'll get over it and we'll figure something else out. Just upsetting in the meantime. We have come here for lunch, such is the theme of the day that we were trying to look for a particularly good looking satay place, but we came and it was just closed. So uh, we went over the road, we found this Indian restaurant, the food looks great, so let's dig in. After a hearty and delicious lunch, we've just taken a stroll along the beach. It's a real shame that the weather is like it is because it's beautiful there. You get such good views of a number of the different islands that make up Langkawi. The sea is really calm. And yeah, it'd just be a lovely spot to sit down on the white sands and just spend a day. Yeah, it's really a shame that the weather isn't cooperating with us because I can see why this is a favorite spot to come. It is an ideal location to just lay out very comfortably and enjoy. Absolutely. Since we last spoke to you, then we've basically been having a pretty chilled evening. Just editing, watching a couple of things on Disney+, Plus, having some questionable dinner, and that's pretty much been about it. We're sorry that the last couple of days haven't been that exciting. As explained though, they're just hasn't really been a lot for us to do while the weather's been so terrible but we have booked something pretty exciting for tomorrow which should go ahead no matter what the weather is so fingers crossed for that but until that point we'll see you in the morning good morning it has finally stopped raining for now anyway although the forecast does indicate that it's just going to be overcast today and we're super excited because we're going on excursion to the mangroves today which means we're going to see all of the wildlife after a few days just being cooped up due to the rain it's nice to be finally getting out and about so really excited to see this on our mangrove tour was the bat caves and that was so amazing to see hundreds yeah, of hundreds. bats 
just hanging from like a tiny claw. It was incredible to see. Absolutely amazing. And then on top of that, we also got to see some fish and some crabs just outside of the caves. That part of it was really, really cool. Yeah, I felt like we were just seeing them in their natural habitat and not disturbing them. But we've now been brought to a fish farm and basically there's all these different species of fish that are pretty big in my opinion for the cages or nets that they're being kept in and for what. And especially when you have like quite sizable stingrays being kept, so it's really about a nine foot by nine foot box. It's just really interesting to see because you can clearly see they're trying to get out and it's like they're trying to feed them to get them interested so that they can see them and they're not interested in food. And then on top of that, we've got some like tremendously rare species in the like horseshoe crabs that are basically a living fossil. Absolutely amazing creatures and they're being confined to just tiny little spaces. It's a bit sad. But still, we move on. Apparently there's some really, really cool stuff to still see, so we'll look forward to it. We've just stopped at a beach and all I can say is how happy I am that we've come on this tour because it has turned out to be an absolutely beautiful day outside. But also the fact that we've been able to see nature. Yep. Malaysia is very beautiful and I think nature is just my happy place. And also being on the water, you know how much I like water. <laughs> Anytime we're on a boat, like it was the same when we were in Capri. Yep. It's always a great day just to be surrounded by nature and then to see the monkeys and the eagles especially because I've never seen eagles so up close. And then also in their like natural habitat environment unlike the fish. It's just been spectacular. I love, love days where we are surrounded by natural beauty. Me too. I think probably the coolest thing is like as a kid, again, I was a bit of a nature nerd. And so I'd always kind of heard about all of these different animals and everything like that, but I never had an opportunity to see them or be even close to them because we just weren't in the same part of the world. But it's crazy because 
we come into all of these different countries and all of a sudden a local mentions that there's this particular species of animal. I'm like, oh crap, I didn't realize they were here. <laughs> so cool. And then we actually get to see them and it's just, yeah, just a lot of childhood dreams coming true right now. And it's just fantastic. And being able to do it in such an idyllic setting. Like the water is so blue. The sand is so white. There's these huge rocks rising up out of the water and they all have such lush greenery on them. It's stunning. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. As things were raining yesterday and the day before, I think we were kind of questioning why we came, but I think today has answered that in space. Absolutely, this was 100% worth it. And I now just wish we had more time to go back to the Sky Cabin Sky Bridge because I don't know what nature we're missing there. No. But I mean, this is phenomenal. So I'm just so grateful that we've been able to come on this tour. Yeah, we've not tried this for a while. That's Thailand in the distance and we'll be there in a few months. finished up with a delicious lunch and what a time had a really really great way to spend a day there and now we're just on the way back to the bus to then take us back to our hotel yeah i would have loved to keep doing that all day long me too into the next day <laughs> yeah, let's just keep doing that forever sounds great Last night out in Mankawi, we've come out to a different restaurant to try a slightly different Malaysian dish. So this one is called Mi Goreng. It's fried noodles, but they're slightly different to other noodles we've had previously. I've gone for the chicken option and Rachel's gone for the vegetarian option. So hopefully these turn out all right. This looks far more promising than the dinner we had last night that we didn't show you. There's a reason we didn't show you. on me goreng. Success. I can see how much you hated it. Yeah, poor. Really tough getting that one down. So difficult. I also despised it. And just as it was getting good, unfortunately, that's a wrap on Mankali. Until next time, take care. And keep smiling.